All right, here we're gonna look at making custom Pantones in Illustrator and InDesign. Uh, now that Pantone is no longer really having the showing the proper color books in InDesign and Illustrator, uh, which is where we normally would use our Pantones, uh, we have to make our own. We have to make a custom swatch so we can use it so it has a decent representation of the color we want and kind of go from there. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna do that very simply. I'm just gonna go to my swatches panel and I am in InDesign at the start here. What I can do, I'm going to make a new swatch. Now I know the one thing I could tell right away is that these swatches are all CMYK and they're process colors. Okay, so that's great. That's a good indication of what's going on here. So I'm just going to click on my drop down of my swatch panel. I'm going to go to new color swatch. Now normally, if I were to click on color mode, I would see all those Pantone swatches. Now I'm in InDesign 2024 and I don't see any Pantone. I don't even see the CMYK versions, which is fine because I don't use them anyways. But what if I do need to show some Pantone need to attach it to a color in my InDesign file, send it to the printer, and they know to use a Pantone color. Well, how do I do that? Well, very simply, quite frankly, as long as you have a Pantone color book, you do need the color books or access to the color books. Because remember, the color books are the truest form of the color anyways. Even if the Pantone solid coded, uncoded, uh, Pantone plus solid coded or uncoded were here, once again, it's just a close representation of the color. It's not the actual color. So I could actually say whatever color I want. However, still try to get as close as possible. Use your color book. Now the color bridge Pantone book will give us a good indication of on the left side, we have all the solid colors. And on the right side, we have all the CMYK adjacent colors. So what I could do is I could go randomly pick a color. Now I've already chosen a color for myself and it was really easy color. Uh, it's um, the representation of the CMYK number on the right hand side is 100. I go to my CMYK, make sure you're on the CMYK. It's 100, 35, and 00. And that's it. Now I just need to tell uh, the swatch panel and of course the printer when they do color separation, they'll be able to know it's not a process color. It's not a CMYK for color process color. It's a spot color. Or another word for spot color is a solid color, which is what Pantone uses. Pantone uses solid colors, which is a pre-mixed ink. The ink is not made up of CMYK dots on a page. It's actually one pre-mixed ink that's ready to go. You put it in the offset lithography offset printer and they put it in one of the towers and that very specific ink goes on the paper. So it's a spot color. And the last thing I could do for myself is actually give it the proper name. So I know this particular swatch color, this spot color was P Pantone 300U on the uncoated color bridge paper. And that's it. Now that I could add it, and there it is, I press okay. And now I will have this color here and I can add it, there it is. There's my Pantone plus, or uh, my, sorry, my Pantone color. Now, once again, it's a good representation of that color because it's the CMYK value of that premix spot solid color but it's not exact, it will never be exact. Even if the Pantone color was here, it would never be exact. It'd be very, very close. Because remember, once again, the truest color of that is on the Pantone book. So now if I go to my color separation here, under um, output and separations preview, I'll be able to see my separations on. And if I want to get rid of everything, except my Pantone, there it is. That's my Pantone area that is represented as black at the moment. But once again, of course, if I also add black to show, um, just to, so I can see that color in this situation, this is what would show up. There's no CMYK, there's nothing going on. It's just that Pantone. That's the representation of that area of Pantone. So no CMYK, that's great. No Pantone, that's, that's kind of what I was looking for. So that's how it works in InDesign. Now in Illustrator, very similarly, once again, normal, dropped up. Normally, you would not have to do a couple extra steps in Illustrator. I'd have to go to my swatch panel if you can't find. And once again, if you can't find any of your swatch panel, color panels, uh, window, you go down to swatches, and there it is. And in InDesign, it's under window and color and swatches. So back to Illustrator. So what I can see now, I go to drop down. Normally, what I would do is open swatch library, color books, and they would all be there. Once again, Pantone is fully removed. Sorry, let me do that again. Pantone is fully removed from here, so that's fine. So that's all I have to do now. Once again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add a new Pantone color. I could click on the new swatch here or new swatch. Oh, 
it showed up here and I'll do the same thing. So CMYK, yeah, I know the color values on my color bridge color book where it's 13500 and I'm going to make sure it's a spot color just like I did in the design and I'm going to change the name to P300U and I'll say okay and there it is. So now if I drag out a square or some kind of uh, object on my artboard there's the color and it also shows me yes it's a global color lovely and it's a spot color lovely because that little dot there all right done so now oh let me get rid of that let me get rid of the stroke good so now if i go to my color separations separations preview and i can see all my colors And I'll be able to tell. There's my, there's my Panto. There's no CMYK being used. It used, it looks totally fine. So that's what, how I would separate it. That's how the printer would be able to tell. Oh, I see. They're showing me this is Panto 300U, even though the actual Panto from the swatch booklet is not on here. I represented it this way, which is totally fine. So that's how you can now make custom Pantone colors for um, any assi any assignment, any project in Illustrator or InDesign.